Perfect your English. Master capitalization of geographic areas. Hello, English learners. Today, we're going to delve into a crucial part of English grammar. Capitalizing names of regions and areas. Capitalizing correctly is essential for clear and proper English. By the end of this video, you'll be able to confidently use capital letters in all the right places when talking about geographic names. Geographic areas encompass a wide range of terms. They can include countries, states, cities, continents, bodies of water, regions, and more. The key rule here is, if the name is a proper noun or an officially recognized place, it should be capitalized. For example, we say, I'm from New York, or, let's travel to South America. This section focuses on the specific rule regarding capitalizing areas. We are going to look at specific cases for regions and areas that should be capitalized in English. Regional areas. Official geographic regions should be capitalized. For example, the Midwest, the Far East, the Middle East, the Northeast, the Southwest, etc. Directional areas. Sometimes we use directions, north, south, east, west, to refer to a place unofficially. In such cases, these directional terms should not be capitalized. For example, I'm traveling east, or, we're heading to the south of France. Official areas. When areas are part of an official title, they should be capitalized. For example, the South Pole, the Pacific Ocean, or Central America. Just like many other rules in English, there are exceptions and special cases in capitalizing geographic names. Compound words. In compound words, if the second part of the word is a word that we do not usually capitalize, then it should not be capitalized. For example, the Western Hemisphere, the Northern Lights. Unofficial areas. Some unofficial areas are so widely recognized that they are often capitalized, such as the West Coast or the East End of London. And that wraps up our lesson on capitalizing geographic names, specifically focusing on areas. Remember, practice makes perfect. So, don't forget to put your newfound knowledge into action. Writing correctly about geographical names will make your English more accurate and professional. I hope you found this video helpful, and I look forward to helping you further improve your English in our next lesson. Happy learning!